guys and welcome to the family fudge I'm Jennifer and in today's video I'm going to share with you some of my go-to toddler meals now Griffin is the youngest of four children in our family and if you've been around on this channel for a while you'll probably know he can be a picky eater I get lots of questions from you guys about what to do when you have a picky eater so today I'm going to share with you just a few of my tips so stay tuned Now before we jump right in, just a couple of things. First off, I'm feeling super rusty at talking to you guys on the camera like this. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a video like this. Over the summer, we've tried to do a lot of family vlogs and travel videos and fun challenges and things like that. But I really like these videos. I really like to answer your questions. And I'm super excited because today's video is in collaboration with Haley over at the channel Haley Page. Now, if you've never seen her channel, I highly recommend that you check her out. She shares videos on motherhood, parenting, organizing, fashion, beauty, and much more. She's also going to be sharing some toddler meal ideas over on her channel, so definitely go check out her video. I will link it down below. Now, if this is your first time here and you're coming over from Haley's channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope that you will enjoy this video and that if you do, you'll consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get started. So of course I'm gonna kick things off with breakfast. Now my number one tip when it comes to picky eaters and breakfast is to learn the difference between when your kids are being picky eaters and when they're just not hungry. Now all kids are different so you definitely have to kind of tune into this. But I know for Griffin, he's not ready for breakfast until about 30 minutes after he wakes up. So if I try to feed him sooner than that, it seems like he's being picky, but he's just not ready to eat yet. Now some of my other kids, on the other hand, are ready to eat breakfast right when they wake up. Now when it comes to breakfast options, I'd say my go-to for Griffin is scrambled eggs. I'm so thankful that he loves eggs. It's easy, it's economical, and it's pretty healthy for him. But I've learned that he likes it even more if I add cheese on top. He loves cheese in every variety. But just like anyone, after days and days of scrambled eggs, he was getting a little bit tired of it. And that's when I introduced him to ketchup. Which brings me to tip number two, and that is to offer a dip. And of course, there's more than just ketchup out there, depending on what your kids are eating. Some other dips that are great could be guacamole, or a peanut butter dip, a yogurt dip, maybe some hummus. Just try different things, and it might reinvigorate them, make them more excited to eat their food. Now, other than scrambled eggs, Griffin is a big fan of French toast, especially if I cut it into sticks. He also likes waffles and oatmeal. He loves oatmeal. Now moving on to lunch, some of Griffin's favorites include the good old cheese and crackers, mac and cheese, and of course, every kid's favorite, a PB&J. For meal times at home, I love to use plates or trays with multiple compartments, and this does a couple of things. Number one, it encourages me to think about different food groups as I'm planning the meal. So the fruit will go here, the vegetable will go here, and so on. And number two, it also encourages me to offer a variety of foods, which is a good strategy for picky eaters, offering lots of different choices. Now this brings me to tip number three, and that is sneaking in new foods. So if I have my tray or plate with lots of different choices, I might sneak in one new choice with all the familiar favorites. Now when it comes to the new food item, I try not to make a big deal about it. In fact, I might not tell him anything at all. Just put it on there and see how it goes. Now if he ends up not eating it, that doesn't mean I never offer it to him again. In fact, some kids, especially with him, I might have to try to reintroduce it to him several times before he'll actually eat it. And I find that that's true with a lot of kids. So just because I don't like it the first time doesn't mean you shouldn't try again. Now when it comes to dinner, Griffin's a huge fan of any kind of pasta, especially if it has pesto on it. He also loves beans, he likes chicken, loves quesadillas, and he especially loves pizza. Now here's the thing about dinner. 
I don't usually make a separate special dinner just for him. I like to take whatever the family's eating and make it more friendly for a toddler. So I might cut it up differently. I might deconstruct it so it's easier for him to eat. And that brings me to tip number four, and that is make dinner fun. We're all sitting together, we're having a good time, but I'm also using some tricks. I have some tricks up my sleeve, and that means fun plates, fun bowls, fun utensils. I have these really interesting plates that actually look like a game, and you can put a little chunk of food in each compartment, and they can just go along, and at the end, there's a prize if they eat all their food. Another thing that Griffin really loves are fun utensils like these airplane spoons. He definitely enjoys when I make it more fun. Now before I wrap this up, I wanted to mention a few of Griffin's favorite snacks. And a lot of these snacks are actually portable, which is great because usually when we need a snack, we're not at home. So Griffin is a big fan of anything in a pouch, whether it's applesauce in a pouch or yogurt. Those are really convenient and he loves them. He also loves bars like cereal bars, granola bars, fig bars, things like that. And then there's always goldfish. He loves goldfish crackers. I like to put them in a little snack container so they don't spill everywhere. And they're always a go-to for us. Okay friends, I hope you found this video helpful, especially if you're dealing with a picky eater of your own. And I would love it if you would share any tips and tricks you have in the comment section down below. And don't forget to go check out Haley's video over at the channel Haley Page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.